Hi everyone, welcome to this new video, uh, which is on the topic of metaverse and cybersecurity. Like, uh, what does the future hold? So, uh, in in this video, I thought it would be it would be like a kind of nice to touch upon a topic which is very hot in the news right now, which is the new metaverse and cybersecurity, and what are the you know the potential cybersecurity risks which might get introduced. Now, this might seem to be like a divergence from my usual topic, which is cloud security, but the metaverse. It is expected to, uh, I think it's going to touch everything from on-premise to cloud security in the future. So that's the reason I thought it would be kind of nice to like take a look and just predict what are the major security issues which might arise. Now, Metaverse is a topic in which Facebook, you know, is investing billions and billions to the extent they've changed the name of the company into Meta, just to give you an idea of how serious they are. So I just thought it would be nice to make some predictions about the cybersecurity issues of the Metaverse. And like, so the disclaimer is, uh, metaverse is very much still in a conceptual phase right now i mean it's still being made it's not like it's not like out right now so i could be wrong in all of them but it should be fun to look at look back at this video in a few years time and see how right i was and how wrong i was in a few things so before we start guys please do like and subscribe to this channel so you get notified when i upload new videos and uh, like it'll help the channel out also thank you so much so if you're like me guys i mean you might have like a confused expression on your face when the metaverse is being mentioned right it's been called so many things like the next evolution of the internet. You will have virtual worlds and augmented reality platforms. It's like uh, some of those uh, movies and the games which you say, right? So well, what is it? I mean, it's like if you look at the definition, it's usually called like a simulated digital environment. It's going to use augmented reality, virtual reality, blockchain. And you can have economies there. You can have social media. You can have your own world. It's like going to look like the real world, but just digitized, right? It's like social media on steroids. And like you, you, it's similar to what Second Life here. So one one small misconception I want to clear right away: the metaverse has existed for decades. It has already there in the form of multiplayer online games. If you played World of Warcraft, right, that is a type of a metaverse. But it's just the amount of immersion now that's going to happen because of virtual reality and the other stuff. So it's going to be huge, right? Especially like if you're like me, like a gamer who likes playing video games and everything, it's going to be pretty awesome, right? And recent things like the pandemic they have accelerated the widespread adoption of the metaverse so how big is the metaverse expected to be when you added all of like billions and billions so some analysts are saying it could be a 30 trillion marketplace by the next 10 to 15 years that just to give you an idea okay now facebook's metaverse is yet to exist it's still being made right it will but once it's done it will be accessible via vr headsets you know augmented reality like and on desktops and mobiles probably in a limited way so let's take a look what are the key some of the common things and then we actually that will give some idea of the security risk which will be there so you're going to access it through reality tools like extended reality tools augmented reality tools like vr headsets and so you'll be able to enter it will be like completely immersive you so you're going to experience it in a way which you simply cannot experience video games and social media right and like things are going to be adapting to you and it's it's going to be like a completely new experience for users okay uh, what else is there? Well, digital avatars will be used. So you will be, you will have a digital representation of yourself in the metaverse, which will allow people to create like representations of themselves and they can like be whoever they want to be in the metaverse. So that should be quite cool when you think about it. And this will lead to some risks also, which I'll discuss. Okay. And the metaverse economy is expected to be massive. If you have been watching YouTube or like uh, been studying the news, NFTs, your non-fungible tokens, you've been already must be sick about hearing of them. But the metaverse is expected to be a massive economic engine, right? I mean, Facebook thinks like 10,000 jobs will just be created for just for content creators and startups and all that. And users will be earning money from these NFTs. You know, NFTs are basically just a very like quick. It's like records of digital ownership it's stored through blockchain. It's going to be the central force of the metaverse economy. It's going to enable authentication of things which you possess. And it's you be secured by blockchain, right? So, and it, it, the whole metaverse economy will be decentralized because it's based on blockchain so it's going to be pretty cool and uh, it'll have like creators who you, you create like art pieces music and like digital things right you, you can have ownership of this so these are the three main things uh, centered around the metaverse so now this leads us to the risks right so what do you think are the risks when you look at it like uh, what comes to your mind because you have to think differently here right it's not the same as your normal uh, everyday environment so some of the key things which will be guys First of all, VR headset. Your VR headset is going to be pretty much your main entrance into the metaverse, right? And already people have found out like uh, security issues and vulnerabilities. 
into the VR headset that could potentially allow hackers to steal sensitive information, do eavesdropping, right? What happens is you can actually, it doesn't authenticate properly and this can be exploited by cyber criminals to commit eavesdropping attacks. And you can actually steal sensitive information, your voice commands. And based on that, you could actually potentially steal sensitive credit card information and passwords. So the authentication of the VR headset, basically how will the VR headset it's authenticate who is putting it on. Can anybody just put it on and assume your avatar? You you understand how dangerous that can be, right? So you can see lots of authentication, lots of regulations and standards coming in. It, it's going to be the user ID and password of the future. Basically, these sort of uh, VR sets. Okay, avatar impersonation is going to be a serious risk. So you have Zoom meetings now, right? Zoom, or, I don't know, Chime or Teams. Now, can you imagine what's going to happen? Because... Uh, with the explosion of the metaverse, these meetings are going to be replaced by digital meetings, right? Which is going to take place in the metaverse. Each meeting participant is going to have like a digital, like a cartoonish version of themselves. And when you're looking at them, you're looking, you think you're looking at that avatar and you can communicate with them. But how do you know that person is actually who they are? An attacker, it might impersonate an authorized impersonate for somebody from the meeting, right? For a malicious purpose. So imagine you have the normal business meeting happening. <coughs> Suddenly, sorry. And suddenly some uh, a spy from a competitor comes into the room on what if the, your boss is replaced by that imposter, right? So you can imagine this, how like a critical is going to be to authenticate who that, how do you know that avatar is actually that person? You can have things probably like biometrics and all that, right? Fingerprint or like eye retina, but uh, you, most people sometimes don't are very uncomfortable with that, but you're going to see people, attackers spoofing these representations and figuring out how to defeat these authentication. Basically, anybody who gains access to your credentials or gain access to that metaverse account, if he effectively being, becomes that person, right? You can see what happens with social media takeovers, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to take identity theft and social engineering to the next level. You can have people, or maybe people will, attackers will figure out how to be invisible inside a room. So they are inside that room, but you can't see their avatar, right? They're evading uh, the controls. Uh, so you're talking, but that guy is simply in the room and he's listening to what's happening. So, I mean, the metaverse, they're expecting commerce and banking to even take place. So you can imagine this, how dangerous it's going to be, right? Uh, and uh, how, what a dangerous attack this could be. Okay. And of course, metaverse scams. I think, I don't think I need to tell anybody because it's already happening. You can see NFT attacks are already happening. And the, uh, the thing about the metaverse is it's largely, as of right now, it's unregulated. And people are very happy about that, right? They say, great, because blockchain is unregulated. And huge things are there, like you can earn, you can really make a lot of money without being affected by red tape. But unfortunately, the bad thing about if something happens to you, you have a scam, uh, there's not a lot of ways you can like go about finding out and take action against it. Because there's not much the victim can do in the lack of regulations, right? So people, attackers will be posing as legitimate sellers to extract sell, like extract cash from a person's wallet. And it turns out to be later malicious. Uh, like or malicious contracts with the people authorized transaction but they lose access to their tokens and the cryptocurrency so you, you can imagine i mean uh, transferring tokens out of a buyer's ethereum wallet after certain conditions have been satisfied so people attackers are already abusing that functionality to get approvals and move uh, the nfts out of a user's wallet so our attackers might be posing as legitimate brands right it's like a phishing attack in order to defraud people so the thing is blockchain technology is inherently decentralized with no designated administrator or moderator and there's no structured way to find out to reclaim your stolen money and to get back that uh, stolen amount so these are the three top three things which i honestly think they're going to be huge in the metaverse and you're going to see these attacks happening let's see i mean i could be completely wrong here guys but these are the cyber security concerns which i think are there in the metaverse and um, let, let's see how accurate I will be in a few years time when the metaverse really comes into its own. Okay. Thank you guys. I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe to this channel. So you get notified when I put in new videos and thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video guys. Thanks.